We talked last week about the crash in Salesforce. Salesforce missed on earnings and gapped down 20%. The earnings were a catalyst. And one of the questions we posed is, should you stay in or should you get out? I shared with you two techniques that you could use to know whether you should stay in or get out. And I wanted to review those two, two techniques because they both have come into play as I described in the last video. Was the IBP technique and the exhaust technique. So first of all, let's talk about the IBP. One of the things we talked about was that we would let the range form and then based off of that range, that would help us decide whether we should stay in or we should get out. Okay, so here was the gap down last week. So one of the things that we see is that we had an initial range on the open and then the market moved lower. So using this technique, we would be getting out right in here. And then we could be watching it in subsequent days. This is a pattern that we teach and it, it said to get out on the 30th. But then on the 31st, it actually broke out up and set up a nice trade as the market moved back into the gap. So this is something that is a pattern that we teach that's tradable, and it's a pattern that we teach that you can lean on to be able to set up other really good trades. So there was the potential on this move right here to have a trade that was as big as 8 to 10 R. Okay, now let's move on to the second, which is the exhaust. On the exhaust, we said if we were to close below this low, we would get out. If we were to close above this high, we would stay in. Well, you can see the market closed above the high, and now it's been working higher. So you can see there's this huge gap here that the market could trade up and backfill. A good example of this recently was Netflix. Netflix had a similar idea. And you can see here, Netflix had the big gap down, tried to break out down, stayed in this range, and then actually broke out up. And it closed the gap right here. It closed the gap. So that's one of the behaviors that we're looking for. So when we have this big catalyst, is the selling going to follow through? Or is there just one wave of selling related to the catalyst and it's over? So in this case, when when we looking at Salesforce, we start. We saw evidence that the, the selling ended the day of the number, and since the market has been going back higher, so I just want to share that with you. I encourage you to look at both of these techniques; they are very powerful, and you don't see them very often. So I will see you in the next video.